Hey, how's it going? This is Henry Fleischer here responding to your request for a quick video on what you can use to grow your business online. Right now I'm on your Facebook page, Real Contractors and Tree Service. Like have on your profile picture, you got your logo in there and, and you got your phone number. Then your cover photo too is showing off that you're at work. So some things I like how you're posting a lot of pictures and posts on your Facebook page that engage engages with your users. And one thing too, um, I like how in your about section you got like your phone number on there. People can message your page. You mentioned you tree cutting. But one thing I'm not seeing is a website. I'm going to show you how you can use a website to your advantage. So here's what happens when you search for tree service in Tyler, Texas. Assuming it's an area you serve. First thing we actually see is the map portion of Google. Top three people here got the most traffic. So we got Tyler Tree Service, Rodriguez Tree Service, and David Tree Service. Once you move past the map, which will be into the organic section. So we've got sunnybrookstrees.com. We've got treeservicetyler.com. I think they got a top three map visit. So we're going to check them out in a little bit. And we got Art Meyer Urban Forestry. Keep going down. See at the very bottom, these guys are all advertising. So they're paying to be on page one. They're renting that space. You want to be owning space on page four by having a spot organically. I'm going to show you some stats about Google search. So page one gets 91.5% of Google traffic. As you see here, when you leave page one and go to pages two and up, traffic falls off significantly. So you're not gonna if you're not on page one, it'll be much harder for people to find you on Google. And 47% of the time people conduct a Google search is for a local business service. And even two, not even if you have a spot on page one, not all the traffic is equal. You have to have a top three spot to get the most traffic. As you see here, like the first spot gets 32.5% of that traffic, the second spot gets 17.6%, and the third spot gets 11.4% of the traffic. You see that very last spot, the 10th spot only gets 2.4% of that traffic. So if you get a top three organic listing to go along with a top three map listing, you're going to get a lot of traffic. And the more traffic gets to your website, it'll lead to more phone calls. And more phone calls lead to more customers. And with that extra revenue from those extra customers, you can grow your business even further. So take a look at Tyler Tree, uh, Tree Service Tyler.com. So you see right here, like they have a clear call to action. Call, call, click here to call today. And they mentioned their license and insured. They got a clickable phone number on the top left of the page. And you keep going down here too. One thing too, though, on the right of the page, you always want to have. Actually, you know that was a service page, but here we go. So this is on their home page. You want to have a contact form on all the pages. So like as soon as you see the clickable phone number as first thing, but then to the right, you want to have a contact form so they can reach you via email. Right above that contact form, you want to say something like get a free quote, get a free estimate. You see how they have a lot of information too. They got a lot of pictures. So you definitely want to have that on your homepage. Some things Google looks for when making a local business website is authoritative content. You want to have between 1,000 to 1,500 words all about the services you provide. You see here, there's a lot of yeah, like the pictures. And then we're going to each service page. Check that out. Each service page, you want to have between 500 to 750 words. And the more words you have on your service pages, the better. You see here, like how they got all that. Here's a trick too. When you go into Google, you type in site colon, you paste in a web URL. You can see how many pages that that website has across Google. So this page has seven. So you definitely want to get more than seven pages, so you can do like service pages like they do. And then you can make a blog articles too, giving your thoughts and opinions on tree service. The more information you have on tree service, the better. The Google likes to see websites with valuable information. That's why whenever you search for a celebrity's name on the search engine, Wikipedia is one of the first pages to pop up. Wikipedia is there because they have so much information on that celebrity. From their career, personal life, their life before they were famous, and they get it from so many different sources. You can make service you can make pages about each location you service as well, too. So we're gonna take a look besides Tyler. You can do one for Tyler. See what other locations you can possibly serve to. Maybe Noonday, Chandler, New Chapel Hill, White House, Flint, uh, let's see, Brownsboro, Moore Station, maybe Swan, Edom, Primrose. There's a lot you can do there. And while having like lots of great authoritative content is very necessary, it's just one piece of the puzzle. You also need a thing called backlinks to rank. So a backlink is when you put your website link onto another website. Not all backlinks created equal, some are more powerful than others. 
Ranking a new website to the top of Google is similar to being a new kid at a new school who's trying to get popular. Yeah, you can have a lot of, you can be good looking, have great personality, but that alone is not enough to get popular. You still have to win the votes of confidence of all your peers in the popular kids. So let's just say, for example, you put your website link onto, like, say, DaviesTreeCare.com, because they're a well known tree site. And they gave you a follow Google would see and be like, oh, DaviesTreeCare.com likes real contractors and tree service. So we're going to move them up the rankings. Then you want to find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. But if you put your website link on a new site called johnstreetservice.com and they give you a file, Google would see that and be like, oh, a new kid vouching for real c contractors and tree service. We're going to keep him ranked where he is. The opinion doesn't mean anything. So here's the tool I like to use called Ahrefs. Here's an overview for tree service Tyler, Texas. So you see here in their headline, they mentioned like Tyler tree service and then tree removal, trimming, and cutting. And Tyler, you definitely want to have headlines similar to that. Those are all keywords. And they rank for 87 key organic keywords. They appear on 87 keyword searches, and then they have 78 backlinks. One trick you could do, you could see who your competitors are linking to and try to link up to the same sites. Take a look at some of their keywords. Like Tyler Tree Service is definitely a keyword you want to rank for. It searches 100 times a month. And then Tree Trimmers, Tyler Texas, Tree Service, Tyler TX. These are all keywords you definitely want to be appearing on. You could put do that by having those keywords on your website. And then we could take a look at some of the backlinks too. See, painting-book.net could be a possible keyword. Definitely yellow pages. You want to link to that. Better Business Bureau, Biz Exposed, BizVotes.com. See all the ones. See, income.net could be a possible one too. Definitely want to be linked up with your local chamber of commerce as well. And the other thing too. To rank in the map portion of Google, you need a thing called citations, which is the number of times that your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. And you want to make sure that you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations in your competition. You can actually put a citation on your Facebook page, and you can put it across all your social media accounts, actually. But sometimes having way more citations in your competition isn't always enough to leapfrog your competition in the rankings. But what will help is if you build up a website but with lots of authoritative content, as well as getting a lot of valuable backlinks. If you have that high-powered website to go along with all those citations, then you'll be way ahead of the competition. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.